Hey everyone, this is Vil. So in this Hubstaff review video, I'm not just going to tell you what are the features of Hubstaff and all of that, but I'll tell you exactly what you need to concentrate on and what you need to take into consideration when looking at Hubstaff to decide whether this is the right tool or not for you. So really what matters and then i'm going to compare all it with some of the different um time tracking softwares and some pros and cons so basically at the end of this video hopefully it's going to be easier for you to decide whether hubstaff is the right software for you or not and by the way before we jump in i do want to say that I absolutely love Hubstaff. I have been using it for years and I recommend this tool for every single friend of mine. I honestly feel like I work for Hubstaff because I recommend them so much. This has saved me up a lot of time and money and all of that. And I will explain exactly why that is. So let's just jump straight into it. So the first thing is time tracking if you don't already know this is what the software is so you have a couple different options first of all you can either download their app for a uh, windows or macbook and you can track everything that is happening on your laptop so for example if you are hiring people that are using different software such as photoshop then you might want to ask them to download the app but they also have uh, extensions where if someone let's say is just using Google Chrome for the work that they do they can just use the extension and that's it so that's the main principle as you can see the design is very let me zoom in a little bit as you can see the design is very simple to get along uh, to actually understand uh, you don't really need to that's the nice part you don't need to go through training your employees or anything like that you can you just have your projects and you have your tasks people just choose the tasks that they are working on and then they press start on the timer and that is it the really cool thing is the productivity monitoring and what this is as you can maybe tell from the screenshots basically you can set up this app in a way that it's going to take random screenshots in different intervals so you can set it up up to three times every 10 minutes and on top of that it also shows productivity levels so as you can see here for example you have 55 percent here you only got 19 percent here you got 45 percent and the productivity level means how much a mouse has been used or how much a keyboard has been used. So obviously, if someone is reading text, then the productivity is going to be very low. But if someone is actually, let's say someone is doing a design or something like that, and you see that productivity is very low, then you can tell that something is wrong, something is off. They're probably not doing their work well. So the reason why I really love this is because first of all, you can actually tell whether people are doing the right work that they need to do. So honestly, I have had an instance where someone was doing someone else's task while they were doing work for me at the same time. And I saw that through the screenshots and then I had to message them and ask them what is up. <laughs> that is really not cool. You can't be doing that. And they apologized me and they told me, okay, just deduct a couple of hours from my work and I promise I will never do that in the future. So that alone already paid off for me for the software. And this probably would have happened. This probably would have continued on happening for months and months to come. So that alone, again, just paid off what this software um, charges you. And on top of that, why I really love this is because sometimes when you give projects to people you want to see especially when you don't work in the same office it's kind of hard to understand how they go about doing those tasks so having these screenshots obviously it's not going to show you exactly what has been happening but it can actually give you a good idea of how people go about doing certain tasks and I found it very useful because sometimes I would just go really quick through the screenshots, get a little bit of an idea, and I, if I would see that, 
uh, they're not doing it in a way that I expected them to do or perhaps there's a better way to do it then I can get on a quick call with those uh, people and I can explain to them okay do this tasks a little bit different so this is it sounds like it's micromanaging and it kind of is but believe me once you get used to of it then going through these screenshots becomes very very quick and again you don't need to do this all the time but sometimes it can be very 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 useful and in general just seeing the productivity as well just gives you a better transparency of what exactly is uh, working what exactly people are doing and how well certain things are working and really it's all about at the end of the day optimizing and getting the most that you can and i feel like this is helping out with that a lot so for the screenshots alone is something that why i would choose why i would say this software is completely necessary and on top of that um then you also got your timesheets so this is pretty cool as well basically when you assign people to certain projects certain tasks and you can have a bunch of different team members and you can assign them to different or same tasks and then you can see how much time they spend on certain tasks and you have this basically let me actually just show you I think well you have this um, different um, timesheets where you can see um, calendars you can see weekly activity daily and so on so it really makes it a lot easier rather than if let's say you could also ask your um, employees to just write everything down how much they work but then you need to even if you let's say you put that in an excel you still need to kind of like go through the excel and you need to put the things together and estimate the times if you want to let's say compare the weeks or compare the days or whatever so this interface i really love it it makes it very very simple to actually very quickly see how much time certain task takes and then you can make decision uh, of what actually is working and what isn't working I thought I had some more screenshots, but anyway, so the point is though that, for example, if I am doing something, I'm creating Pinterest designs and I'm scheduling them out, I can create this task and then assign someone and see how much time that takes, how much I'm getting back in return, how much traffic I'm getting from that. And then let's say I can create a task with Instagram designs and scheduling and I can see how much time that takes and then I see what's a better return on investment and get rid of one of those tasks. Another really cool thing is why, why I use this a lot is when I get certain projects or certain tasks, certain job that I'm looking someone for, I usually get a few different people and assign same or very similar tasks for them and then I can track and that's the cool thing as well. So then with the timesheets, it's very easy for me to tell um, how much time it took for someone to do this or that or whatever it was. And also, if I go further and then I look into screenshots, let's say if I have a couple of candidates that I narrowed it down to, if I looked at the screenshots, then I can tell again who was doing, like what was the mindset behind doing certain things. And that helps me to make decision of who exactly should I choose and who is just doing better work and all of that. So the timesheets are really, really cool as well. And then, well, you got the GPS tracking. So this means basically if you have people that go to a certain location, you can track time, how much time they spend at that location. Uh, so for example, if let's say you're running a cleaning business, and people are going to different homes then this is <laughs> this is absolutely amazing because you can use that for every single home but i personally don't use this um again the geo uh tagging you can also have you have uh, payroll so you can automatically set up that when someone is you can set up how much you're paying them and once the time is tracked then that gets multiplied by the pay per hour if that's um if you're paying them per hour and then you can have automatic payroll where they just get paid out automatically for the work they have done um, team scheduling all of that let me show you um, the integrations so this is another cool thing that you should take into consideration when choosing um, 
time tracking software, uh, Hubstaff has a lot of integrations. So obviously you will want to have uh, some sort of project management uh, software that you use to get all your projects, all the tasks and all of that. And as you can see, they have a lot of them. Uh, let's say you're using teamwork projects so you can easily just um, with a couple of clicks integrate it with Hubstaff and then all of your projects, all of your tasks, they get automatically synced to Hubstaff. So when people, when whoever is working for you, when they open their app, they will see all of those tasks automatically on the app and then they just need to choose a task and press to um, record the time and that is it. And then you got your payment uh, integrations as well. So this is one cool thing if I'm a huge fan again, one of my favorite things is TransferWise. And they have actually integration with TransferWise and I always use TransferWise to pay everyone that works for me because they just give really good exchange rates. Uh, so it's nice that they actually have integration so you can actually just pay through um, TransferWise and they also have QuickBooks and all of that. So there's a lot of different integrations as you can see Freshdesk, Salesforce and all of that. So something just that you should keep into consideration because most likely you are going to be using some of these integrations and if other time tracking softwares don't have these integrations then that is going to be troublesome. So just to show you I, uh, the basically the interface, I'm not going to go too deep, but just a couple of things to mention. Uh, I created this dummy account, by the way, because I didn't want to, I couldn't be bothered to block out all of my stuff. Um, so in the activity, here is where basically you will see all of the screenshots and all of that. But as you can see, one thing I want to emphasize on why I like this a lot, um, the interface has um, a lot of different settings that you can choose from. So as you can see here, for example, you can choose different members, you can choose the projects, you can choose activity levels, um, time type, all of that. You choose all of the different dates and all of this. So it just makes it very simple and you can really go quite a bit in depth when you want to figure out what works the best, what you need to improve on and all of that kind of stuff. And this is one very important thing as well that not all of the softwares will do for you is you can track time on apps and URLs. So for example, if you have some sort of project that's a little bit more complicated project and people need to go to a lot of different websites and you want to see where they spend the most time, what is the most important, especially let's say if you have a couple of different people working on a project and you see where they spend the most time, that can be very essential and it's nice that they actually provide this and I don't think there's any other way how you could really go about tracking URLs, time spent in different on different websites or apps. I don't think that's really possible. You need to use a software like this. Um, you got your timesheets, um, you got your reports, so you can see again, you can see um, how much time has been spent, let's say in the past day in this past week in the past month on different projects different tasks all of that by different members so it makes it very easy all in one place this is why you could technically ask your employees to put the time that they worked on let's say a spreadsheet but that just sounds way too much pain to go through all of that when here you have everything nicely in one interface and the interface is really beautiful that's one of the reasons honestly also why at first i was attracted to hubstaff because i saw this interface i tested it out and i really enjoyed it quite a bit and as you can see you got your projects you got your members uh, payments, all of that. I'm not going to go through all of this stuff. Uh, this is just a review, so that's not really important. What is important is payments, uh, because obviously, let's be honest, price does matter, things do add up. So first of all, you got free plan, and this free plan, I would say, is more sort of a, a personal plan, so I would really only use this if I want to track time for myself, perhaps. Um, the thing is, the problem with this free plan is that you don't have integrations. So if you want to use the software, most likely you will use some sort of um, task management software as well. So you want to have all of your projects and all of uh, the tasks 
And for that, you will need to have an integration from that software with Hubstaff. So you want to have at least one integration and the free plan doesn't give you that. So that's why you're not really going to use the software for free. Let's be honest here. Um, you will need um, the basic plan or the premium plan, really. So the basic plan has all of the main features, really all of the, I would say, the core features, what the, what makes this really, really um, amazing software to use. So as you can see, you got your tracking, uh, time tracking, you got your activity levels, unlimited screenshots, and then you got one integration so you can integrate the task management software that you are using. And they also have um, support and all of that. So it's, uh, I'll compare it to, uh, with other plan in a second, but I do want to say that this plan, uh, while it might not look, if you looked at this other plan, it has so much more, so many more things, but this actually has enough for you to do the most necessary stuff. So you can really start out with this plan, but if you want to go to the next plan, and the reason why you want to go to the next plan is if you really want to know to track the apps and the URLs on which um, how much time people spend on certain apps or URLs, then you need a premium plan for that. that. Uh, GPS tracking, again, you will need premium plan for that. Aside from that, I would say also consider this plan if you want invoices and if you want payroll, so you can automatically uh, pay to the people that are working for you. Um, you can see some of the other things, but these are the main things why you might want to go to with premium plan instead of basic plan and the enterprise. The enterprise plan really, um, you only need it if you want to get unlimited job sites. So that means where um, people are going to different sites to work from. So really that's only if you're running a big business where people often go to work from different places. Other than that, you don't really need the enterprise plan to be honest. And as you can see, the price is $7 per user on the basic and 10 on the premium that's monthly. And if you want annual, it's going to be $6 and then $8 for the premium. You basically get two months free. And if you compare this pricing to um, other time tracking softwares, this is the cheapest option. And I honestly don't know why, because I do think Hubstaff is the best option. So I don't know why it's the cheapest one as well. But usually I think um, the plans, uh, they obviously always change, the pricing always changes. But right now at least, other softwares are around $12. Whereas with Hubstaff, you have the option for $7. And if you want to be a bit more advanced, um, $10. And really, again, <laughs> I do want to emphasize that this is so very little to pay for what you really will get from this software. And there is a free trial, by the way. I will leave a link down below in the description if you want to test it out. Uh, there's a special trial. You can test the software out for a couple of weeks, uh, see how it feels. But honestly, uh, I, as, as I said, I have been using the software for many, many years and I absolutely love it. It has helped me so much. And when you think about it, that even if you manage to improve your productivity by just 1%, that is already going to pay off. If someone that's doing work for you, if you can improve their work by 1%, it's going to pay off because the software only costs $10. And with the time tracking, with the activity levels, with the screenshots, all of that, believe me, you are going to improve productivity of all the people that work for you. So very, very cool software. One of my favorite ones, one of, of that I say it's a must have. So I hope you found this review useful. I hope it's going to um, make your decision a little bit easier. I do have another channel that is all about online marketing, all of that kind of good stuff. So check that channel out. I, I am sure you will find it useful. I will leave a link down below in the description. Also, if you find this video useful, make sure to press thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more software reviews that might be useful for you. Stay awesome and I'll see you soon.